Hello there! Wow! Perfect! Wonderful! Well done! What is up everybody, the Nintendo Beast here, back in Animal Crossing on the Nintendo GameCube. It is about 11, uh, 11.51 on Monday morning, the last day of November 2020. Uh, so, the last thing you've seen from me here in Animal Crossing is the uh, Thanksgiving special I did. So we are back just beyond Thanksgiving. When you're watching this, it'll be, you know, just kind of the beginning of December, I imagine. So let's jump into Nook's Cranny real quick and see what there is to sell. Oh. Okay, so we're back with this whole raffle ordeal. I think, I think Halloween he was doing this raffle thing, too. It's your lucky day, hmm? You may give it a spin if you got raffle tickets. I don't. And I don't know, I have no clue how to get raffle tickets either. Well, I'm afraid today is a raffle ticket day, so I won't be selling anything. Even the stuff back here? Oh, okay. So there's no shopping. Is there no selling either? Because I was planning on doing a bunch of fishing today. That's pretty lame. How do I get raffle tickets? I hear Tabby somewhere. There's Tabby. Yo, do you have raffle tickets? Does anybody have raffle tickets? Hey there, sunshine. Morning. Let's go out there and totally make the most of the day. Okay, Meow? Okay. Hey, did you want something or what, Meow? Need any help? Uh -huh. Have you, like, written any letters lately? You haven't, have you? Well, I'll have you know that I haven't gotten any lately. Nope, not a single one. <clears throat> Open the mailbox? Nothing. So you haven't written any, John, and I haven't gotten any. See what I'm getting at, Meow? So you want me to write you a letter? Do I have any paper on me? I do. Okay, uh... Write a letter. Uh, Tabby. Sup, fam? Sup, fam? Is that a... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, sup? Sup, fam? That's good enough, right? They don't- I don't know if they actually- I don't think they ever actually read these letters. Oh, wait, but we do have, uh... Let's see, your current layout earns 6,855 points. If we may say so, your house is quite spacious. It's up to you whether you expand it again. November 26th, 2020. So that was Thanksgiving. <clears throat> so let me rip all this, all these gifts. Oops. Yeah, I grabbed it. I meant to get present. Ugh. There's so much crap. It's so, it's so tedious doing everything in this game compared to newer Animal Crossing games. It definitely has its charm. Um, okay, so there's a track model, but it's definitely a little bit more tedious. All right, so there are all the track models, and there are the f these are these should be fossils, I think. So let me run over to. Well, you know what? Let me. I just saw this, uh... Well... Money! For one, and then I actually saw this. Alright. So we'll fill these holes back in here. Animal Crossing has definitely come an extremely long way, though. 
I will say that. Since, uh, since GameCube. Technically since Nintendo 64, I guess, right? Because that was the, uh... In Japan, it released on the Nintendo 64. <clears throat> Here in the United States, uh, and I think pretty much everywhere else in the world, they waited until, um, yeah, the GameCube, and here we are. Because the version of it that came out on the Nintendo 64 <clears throat> was like, it released just before the release of the GameCube. We're gonna go into the police station and just see if there's anything in here yet. It's been a little while since I was in here last, and I got paper. So I'll keep that in mind if I need to send out fossils, which I probably will by the end of the episode. So it's not gonna be the fishing episode that I was hoping for. I mean, we will... We'll focus on, uh... Contributing to the museum today. <clears throat> because I can't, I can't focus on selling things, obviously. Fuck, it's a raffle day. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, where the heck is this museum at? Right here. So let's go and donate these fossils that I already have. <clears throat> Watch, today will be the first day that uh, I have a fossil that he already has, and I won't be able to sell it. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, my throat is dry. Uh, donate an item. Okay, so let's do this uh, dinosaur track first. I'm fairly positive that this I do already have this in the museum, and I'm about to be really pissed off. Who now? Ah, yes. I believe a dinosaur track is already part of our collection. Anyway. <laughs> and the donating party is... Why, it's you! You donated this yourself, John. Quite a hoot. Yeah. Okay. Ah, but this is a quality specimen. Yes, a lovely dinosaur track. It's more than a bit envious, or I'm more than a bit envious. If only I had the bells, I would purchase it from you in a mere blink of an eye. Uh, it seems a shame to return this, but you must know space is limited. I look forward to your future donations. Okay, so then I have to donate this other one. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Now, you definitely don't have this Triceratail, right? Watch, he does. Ooh, I say, a Triceratail. No, okay. So he, he took that one. So that means that one is a new uh, piece for the exhibit. I think that's it. For now. For now, let me put that money in my pocket. The harvest wall from... So before we go fishing, we're definitely going to empty out my pockets a little bit. So let's run up town to my house real quick. Twelve PM on the nose. So let's head inside. Oh my god, cockroaches. And you never know in this game if you got all the cockroaches because they never... You don't get any kind of notification that says like, woohoo! There we go. Alright. 
so yeah, my house is a real, like, mishmash right now. Of nonsense. <laughs> Oops. So there's that track model. I wish you could get track models in Animal Crossing New Horizons, because then you could put them outside and, like, build actual train tracks, and that would be pretty dope. Um... <laughs> but anyway... Boom. So there's the completed house. Wait, what does this cornucopia look like? The cornucopia. Stuff it in the cornucopia. I'm gonna put this back with my pumpkin, I guess. Because fall and whatnot. So that's my house now. Uh... I guess I gotta write another letter, right? And then I'll just attach this fossil. I was gonna say, if it doesn't show me which letter I'm looking at, I'm gonna be really upset. Accidentally send, uh, Tabby an unappraised fossil. Would not be good. So let's run up to the junkyard quick. And see if there's anything else. And then we'll send out these two letters quickly. Oh, what's that? Okay, so we got more paper. Ginkgo paper? What was that I just picked up? A regal armoire. Arm armoire. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's run over. Let me just look at what this regal armoire thing is. It might, since it's regal, it might be worth something. And if it's worth something, I might be able to get some money for it. Not today, of course, because, you know. Very cool. I'm selling it immediately. No use for it. I don't think... Wait a second, wait a second. Can I store things in this? Yes? How much stuff can I put away in it? It doesn't really say how many things I can put in it at any given time. But I'm gonna add this, uh... Oh, I can't put the dinosaur track inside? Why the heck not? That's lame. Whatever, so I'm gonna leave that in my house right now just to, as a storage unit. Um... I should run back up and send these letters, I guess, to... Oh, uh, yeah. Oops. Tried to go inside. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, Pelly. Pelly, my friend. It is time to mail two letters. This one goes to Tabby. Because Tabby was grumpy. And wanted me to send him a letter. And this one goes to the museum. The Faraway Museum. I think that's it. So I imagine you can only mail five letters per day. Is that what that just look like? Because they line up on the, the porch in there. Or not the porch. The porch. The desk back there. So my assumption is that it uh, only allows you to mail five letters out a day. Because that would be a full, uh, a full porch. A full counter. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go fishing now. Yeah? Alright, so I got my fit, my handy dandy fishing rod here. So, this is my first time fishing in this game. Let's see if I am capable. What's gonna be my first fish? The 
world may never know. Where... Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. It's a terrible throw or cast. Oh my god, it's so much different. It's a red snapper though. It's so much different in this game. Like you do have the the rumble controls on the contr on the uh, GameCube controller, but it's uh it has no sound effects. There are no sound effects that go with it. I caught a red snapper. That was a snap. I really have to stop saying things like that. Uh, that gave me such anxiety. Cuz I wasn't sure what to what I was if I was waiting for something or what the deal was. Okay. Wow, that sucks. It washes up on the beach so quickly. What? What's that nonsense? Fishing in this game is so much harder than any other Animal Crossing game. Maybe once I get the hang of it, that won't be the case. But like, that was like a single bite. I couldn't even tell it was really a bite. And then the fish just swam straight away. I can already tell that fishing in this game is not going to be nearly as pleasurable of an experience. Crap. Oh, I blew that one. So I guess when it turns yellow, you got to yank it in? Is that what I, we're allowed to assume? <laughs> oh, God. Turn around, fish. It's not noticing my line. Okay, come on, bud. You're getting out of hand now. I was under the impression that was, uh, that was the time to pull it in. Okay. It's also kind of difficult to even tell which side is the head and which side is the butt of these fish. The one that's not pointing towards your bobber, that's the one that's the head. Alright, yeah, so it doesn't turn yellow, it just goes underwater. That's totally a sea bass, right? Ew, look how gross sea bass look in this game. <laughs> I caught a sea bass. Sea bass. Why do I keep saying things like that? So I imagine every single uh, thing he says is going to have a touch of, like, a PS of self-loathing self at the end. Like, both those fish now. Ugh, I gotta stop saying things like that. Ugh, why do I say things like that? Like... <laughs> My villager hates himself on the inside. Which is just fitting. <laughs> Alright, now we're talking. Now we're learning. That's another sea bass, though. Another gross, twitchy, ugly looking sea bass. If we're gonna keep catching sea bass, we're gonna start rolling. It doesn't look like any of them are like really different sized either. They're all, like, one size, it seems. Alright, now we're getting the hang of this. And there's another sea bass. Like I said, if, we, if we're gonna keep catching a sea bass, we're just gonna go up to the river, because... There aren't sea bass in the river. And we're already, if this is the sea bass, we're leaving. We're leaving the sea. And we're never coming back. That's a lie, but we are we're we are gonna go up. If this is a sea bass, we're done fishing in the ocean for a while. Well, who knows what that was, because it bit on the first try. And I wasn't smart enough to, or reactionary enough to uh reactionary. That's not how you use that word. My reaction, my reflex, wasn't good enough to catch that. 
All right, we lost the hang of it. We got the hang of it, and then we just lost the hang of it. We're not, <clears throat> we're not doing a good job fishing right now. So maybe we'll go up the river regardless. There's got to be some kind of better fish in here. I got a red snapper already. So I have faith that there's more to life than sea bass. I wonder how worthless sea bass are in this game. I bet they're even more worthless than in other games. Turn around. Turn around, sea bass. Here we go, now we're talking. Check this sea bass out. Ooh, look at that big sea bass. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. We're leaving and we're not looking back. I like how he carries his fishing rod too, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so we're gonna go up the river. We're gonna follow the river up here. Any river fish? Ooh, that looks like a pond smelt. <clears throat> Can we hook a pond smelt right now? What is that? A bitterling? Oh, a crucian carp. Carpe diem. All right, so the self-loathing went away now. <laughs> so, we're, so we're good on that front. And I just found a uh, another X mark in the spot. There's a bitterling, I think. A pale chub. Wow, I'm terrible. No, the bitterling. The bitterling is that color. It's like the bluish color, but it's shaped like the carp was, I think. Possibly hook this? No, it does. Oh crap! I could have, I think. We got it. What is that? There's a bluegill. Yo, so river is definitely a lot more diverse than the ocean, which is just a cesspool of sea bass. Alright, so let me... Let me switch out my tools really quickly to dig up this fossil real quick. There's the money. Okay, so now we're gonna... Oh, there's a fish right that just came right back. A tin can? Got an empty can. So even in this game, you can find trash in the ocean and the rivers. It's definitely a lot easier to cast out a line, though, which is nice. Swap it for. I don't know, a tin can? <laughs> Get one of these sea bass out of my pocket. Sploosh. Okay, so we're done fishing for now. Um. Where am I? I'm lost. I followed the river, and the river... I don't know where the river goes. I've never followed the river before. So there's a train coming in. Or going out. Or something. I don't know. Okay. So the museum is right behind the police department. I have to remember that. Blathers, we have a lot to donate to you today. So maybe we'll go on a money-making binge. A money-making and fishing binge next week here on the, on the Let's Play. Uh, so let's start with the Red Snapper. I think it's only fair that that's the first one I donate to the museum because that's the first one I caught ever in this game. Snaptacular, snaptastic, snap, er, snap. That is, oh bother. It wasn't particularly funny, anyways. Please attempt to ignore my sorry lack of humor. Despite it, we will treat this fish with much care. Indeed. Oh yeah. We got so much. We got so much cool stuff. Check out this Crucian carp. 
Who, indeed, woohoo, a crucian carp, I believe. Even run of the mill common fish are valuable resources, you see. All part of the grand tapestry. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have plenty more. Well, let me tell you, Blathers, about this pocket full of sea bass I've got waiting with, waiting with your name on it. <laughs> Even run-of-the-mill common fish are valuable resources, not sea bass. Nothing is valuable about a sea bass. Nothing. In no capacity is a sea bass valuable. Oh, yeah. So we got plenty of sea bass. I got a crucian carp. Let's give him this pale chub. And then the uh, bluegill, and then we're done. It's something called a mountain trout, but it's not a trout. What rot? What? Well, regardless, I'll see that it gets the proper care. You have my word. So a pale chub is a mountain trout? Is that what he just said? I don't know. I don't know about all that noise. Okay, so, last but not least, a bluegill. Ooh, indeed, woohoo, a bluegill, I believe. Even run-of-the-mill common fish are valuable. Okay. So every fish is a, is a run-of-the-mill common fish. Got it. Thanks for your input. Uh, no, that's it, I think, right? That'll do for today, Blathers. Alright, so we gotta run, write another letter. Doesn't have to say anything. Just has to attach uh, this letter to it, right? Boom. Now where am I going? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm slowly... Oh, the train is still here. I'm slowly but surely, um... Learning the layout of this map. I think I say that every week, but... We're, we're getting there. Uh, mail a letter. Uh, no, I think, that, I think that's it. See, that's what I'm saying, though, because right now it's, like, halfway. It looks like they can fit two more letters back there. So I think, I'm thinking you can only mail five letters per day, but I'm not totally sure. So I gotta go to the junkyard here. Or the dump. To the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. And throw this actual trash here. It actually looks like it fits there, which is kind of cool. But anyway, anywho, that I believe will just about wrap up today. Let me find out real quick how to get raffle tickets because I don't know. I don't even know how to get raffle tickets. Uh, so let me pull up the fandom app here, which is my go to for everything Animal Crossing or really any game. Uh, raffle tickets. Okay, raffle tickets are items. Ooh, wait. Run. Gotta watch the train take off. Haha. <laughs> I wish I could look my, like turn my camera up. I love chasing the train. I don't know why. Oh god, go, dude, go. You're gonna miss the train. All right, we got it. We saw the train pull out of the, pull out of town. Anyway. Um, don't ask why. I don't know. I like, I like watching the train. So yeah, raffle tickets are items, uh, in the Animal Crossing series that only appear in Animal Crossing and Animal Forest E+. After purchasing furniture or clothes from Tom Nook's store, the player will receive a raffle ticket. Every five raffle tickets gives the player one chance to receiving a rare item on, or at the lottery on the last day of each month. 
Okay. Um, up to five raffle tickets can be stored in one spot in the player's inventory. Every month, the color of the raffle tickets change. Uh, if there is not enough room for the raffle ticket in the player's pockets, it is mailed to them. Tickets cannot be sold to Tom. He will simply refuse to buy them. Okay, so what? I, I didn't... You're trying to say I didn't buy anything from Tom Nook ever? And therefore I don't have any raffle tickets? So it's a useless raffle day. I can't buy anything. I can't get anything. So that's that, I guess. Uh, let me grab my fishing rod. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything for today, I suppose. So thank you so much uh, for tuning into another episode of my Let's Play Animal Crossing here on the Nintendo GameCube. And uh, until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast, signing off.